the Enchanted Canary. Long, long ago, in a land on the magical plains, there was a kingdom named Avisness. This kingdom was ruled by King Cambrinus, who had a handsome son named Desire. King Cambrinus and Prince Desire were an efficient team. Together they would deal with every obstacle their kingdom ever faced. However, since a decade, the kingdom of Avisness was witnessing the worst drought. The land was dry and arid. There were absolutely no vegetables, fruits, or flowers. King Cavernous and Desire did everything they could, but nothing worked. Once the land of abundance, Kingdom of Avisness now looked like a dry leaf. The king and the prince then called a learned man for advice. Every obstacle brings with it an opportunity to portray wisdom and strength. Prince Desire, soon your wisdom will be tested. Stay prepared. The father and son had no idea what that meant. The next morning, as the father and the king were waiting for their breakfast, Chef Hubbaloo is never late. What has happened in there? Father, we must inquire. As the royals entered the kitchen, they were shocked. The kitchen was a mess. The helpers were on the ground exhausted, and Chef Hubaloo was on the top shelf of the kitchen with a pot in his hand. Oh, your highness, it is utter shocking to see the royals in the, the kitchen. Are you sure that's what is shocking right now? What happened here? Prince, this is sorcery. It, it was a canary. Chef Hubaloo explained how a canary entered the kitchen and made them run for their wits. She was fast, and she swirled with such grace. She was so flexible. A canary, flexible. Chef Hubaloo, are you all right? Just then, the canary returned and sat on the head of Prince Desire. Ah, take it off, take it off. <laughs> Come here, you silly. Your Highness, I need your help. <gasps> Clearly, she's an enchanted canary. I am at your service, my lady. Huh? <gasps> Princess Zizi, your highness. She is captured by the witch and kept in a palace in the very east. I am the nurse to the princess. We were in the woods when the witch appeared out of nowhere and captured the princess. I haven't gone back home since then. Princess Zizi's father will be broken. She was my responsibility, and I failed. I have to rescue her, and I need your help, your highness. I have heard your stories. Please, your highness, I need your help. You have to send an army to defeat her. She is a cunning being. Now the king was a clever man. He knew that his son is brave. He immediately asked Desire to go with the canary and rescue the princess with the hope that he will save the princess and then hopefully marry her. I am old now, my dear enchanted canary, but my son is greater than any soldier and intelligent than any learned man. He will come with you. Maybe this is what my kingdom needs, the good luck of a princess. Although Prince Desire didn't like the idea of saving the princess, just so that she probably marries him, he knew that as a prince, it was his duty to help those who are in need and those who seek it, and he was thus bound by his duty to help the Enchanted Canary. Prince Desire and the Enchanted Canary were already amidst the forest. Can't you go any faster? I am on a running horse, and unlike you, I don't have any wings. I'm going as fast as I can. But didn't say that the witch has transformed the princess into a fruit. How do I recognize her? She will be the most beautiful orange. You pluck the fruit and wrap it in a white cloth. She will then transform into my beautiful Princess Zizi. Now hurry up. Uh. We don't have time to drink water. We have a princess to save. Listen, Birdie. You probably don't know how rescue missions work. The one who's going to rescue needs to breathe and drink water and eat so that once he faces the wrath of his enemy, he doesn't collapse due to a lack of water or food. They traveled for days, and the canary and Desire forged a friendship of sorts. She explained how her princess was captured, and how she has a glowing golden skin, and how wise and beautiful she is. 
Prince Desire listened carefully and wondered if Princess Zizi was really as wise, kind, and intelligent as the canary, who being a tiny bird, was moving heaven and earth to save her princess. Night fell, and they decided to rest under a big tree. Careful, Prince! This forest has all enchanted beings! Hopefully, you don't fall in eternal sleep before saving my... <gasps> princess! <laughs> Thanks for the concern, little birdie. But the canary was not wrong. In the morning, as Prince Desire opened his eyes, he realized that he was being dragged by an ogre in the forest. Uh, what? No! Where's the canary? What happened? He has captured us, genius! Come on now! Rescue us! Fight the ogre! <laughs> Prince Desire grabbed a rope to throw across the ogre's neck to capture him. But as soon as he did that... Uh, where did he go? He wasn't a real ogre, Prince. It was a mere illusion. That means the witch's cottage is not far from here. Prince, listen to me. I cannot come inside with you. I will wait here. This witch is known for her illusions and mind games. Do not be swayed. Remember your goal. You have to save the princess. She must be in the orange orchard, but you will have to first cross the mystical garden. Only the ones with the strongest will are able to cross it. Good luck! Before Desire could ask any further, the canary was gone. Okay, this seems easy. Just walk past the forest. Ah. <laughs> Come to me. This may not be as easy as I thought it to be. The mystical garden was one of a kind. As soon as the sire, with all his courage, approached the monster, it vanished just like the ogre. But... Wow, am I underwater? <gasps> the witch is known for her illusions and mind games. Do not be swayed. If the witch can use her magic to create illusions, then I can use my will to do the same. Gills. And that was it. Inspired by the helpful words of the canary, Desire protected his mind from the magical illusions and created his own fantasies. He was now Shark Man, who could swim underwater. Woohoo! How dare you enjoy my illusions, you silly prince! Well, your illusions were really silly. Really? Is this silly too? No! There is your princess ZZ, prince. This answer to all your troubles and the solution to the drought in your kingdom. You marry her, and everything falls right in place. And here is this poor little birdie. Who is the prince going to choose? Prince, don't leave me! Help! The prince was confused. Whom does he save? He closed his eyes and stood still amidst that chaos. Remember your goal! The princess must be in the orange orchard! But you will have to first cross the mystical garden! <sighs> Wait, the orchard is beyond the mystical garden, which means I am still inside. And the witch and the canary in the cage are not real. They're part of the mystical garden. Without another thought, Desire leapt to the end of the garden and into the orchard. Huh? Desire immediately plucked the orange and wrapped it in a white cloth. No! How dare you! Just as the witch was about to attack the prince, the real canary came flying and began to pluck at the witch's hair. What? Ow! Get out of my hair, you smelly bird! Ow! As the witch was busy dealing with the enchanted canary, Desire plucked the veins from the garden and made a lasso out of it to capture the witch. He swayed it around, and with one swift motion, 
threw it around the witch's leg. Prince, take the necklace off her! That holds all her power! As soon as the prince took the necklace off the neck of the witch, the most surprising thing happened. The enchanted canary transformed back to a beautiful woman. Whoa! Oh, <gasps> princess! Amore! <coughs> oh, meet your savior, princess! Prince Desire. I am most thankful, prince. Ow! Is that how you celebrate a rescue mission, Prince? <laughs> <laughs> Back at Avisness, King Cambernus welcomed all. Well, now that the princess is saved, maybe we must talk to her father. No, father. It won't be right either for Princess Zizi or myself to assume that we would marry each other. And regardless, I am in love with someone else. I would like to ask her hand in marriage. The happiness of Princess Zizi knew no bounds. Amore was her closest friend, and Prince Desire was a noble prince. Amore, too, had fallen in love with the prince. She agreed to be married to him. Absolutely excited with his son's choice, the king celebrated the union and got them married. And what more? The day of the marriage of Prince Desire and Amore saw the end of drought in the kingdom of Avisness.